Hello everyone and welcome, it's Shanna. So glad you stopped by. Now again today we're still working on our crafty advent calendar and we're gonna open up our day 13. And I'm standing here staring at this going, where is 13? And it takes me a minute to find it and then I realize it's right there by 14. So I'm just gonna get it opened and let's take a peek and see what our gift is for today. I, I find that it's hard to get that open without my um, two-in-one tool. Um, and then just to get things out of there too, it's kind of hard to grab them. Um, so it looks like we've got a stamp set and it's a happy birthday stamp set. And um, as soon as I saw this, I immediately started thinking about our balloons and our ribbon and bow from our previous days. So I'm just gonna take this stamp set out of the package and we're gonna bring the Misty in and we're gonna to get to making a birthday card. So I've got my Misty there and I'm just gonna bring in a real small panel. I really don't need very much space for these three little sentiments that I'm gonna stamp because they're just so tiny. So I need, I'm just gonna get them laid down on there to where I feel like I have room to cut or die cut around them. I'm gonna do two of them together on the front and then one on the inside. And so I'm just lining them up so that I can work with that. Um, now for this, I'm going to use my Distressed Oxide prized ribbon and get it stamped down. And it'll take multiple stampings for this because I didn't condition them. I forgot to condition them and I just started stamping. And so it's gonna take a minute to get these um, stamped up nicely. And then they should be fine going forward. Um, as far as stamping. With these real fine sentiments, you want to just lightly ink them up and try to press pretty gently. It's better to be gentle and do multiple inkings than to really ink them up and press hard and kind of smush everything together. So I'm getting that other magnet out of the way and just trying to get it pressed down, checking and then pressing where um, I need to. So I've got that done. So I'm going to lay that aside and start bringing in the elements of my card. I've got this card base that was in my Make It Merry kit. It is a Spellbinders card base. And this is just a little shy. It's four by five and a half. So I had to adjust my panels for that lack of a quarter of an inch there. I'm just going to bring this yellow panel down and I've got an eighth of an inch all the way around it. And I did die cut out of the center of it because I didn't have much of this yellow because I'm using my scraps and I wanted to bring some of that yellow in for my balloons. And then this blue panel was part of um, a previous day's card and I had it ready. And then I had this white, like itty bitty card panel. I don't even know why I had it laying um, in my scraps, but I thought I'm gonna use it. So I just took part of the yellow that I die cut out of the center and put it inside there. And I'm just gonna lay this little miniature card down on my card base and this is going to be where I'm going to put my balloons. So I'm going to tape it down so that it doesn't pop up as I'm trying to work with my dies. And I've got a little blue, a little yellow, and then a, a second little blue balloon. And I'm just going to get them positioned and lay them down on this little tiny card flap I've got here. Now these little stems are just teeny tiny and so you really have to um, glue them up kind of carefully so you don't get a gluey mess. And oops, and my panel popped up on me. And I'm just going to get them laid down. And my goal is to get the strings all kind of together so that I can put my little bow from my previous day's um, Advent gift on there. I think the, the bow actually came with the car. I think that was the actual first day. And then these balloons were another day. So it's fun when you can pull in the different elements from the advent card and kind of connect them for a, a themed card. So I'm gonna put the little ribbon down there, um, the strings and then the little bow on there. And then that'll finish out this flap. And then my plan is to bring the cinnamon in to the inside. So I'm gonna bring my happy birthday 
and I'm going to get it laid positioned down. And then I'm going to bring in my other sentiment, which um, is just teeny tiny, and get it laid down on the on there. And then we'll just move to the inside of the card. So I had some additional scraps that I thought I could use. And so I went ahead and layered um, some more of that blue with some white. And then I had a couple more balloons that I die cut out. And I'm going to just decorate the inside of my card. A lot of times I don't do that on camera, but I thought um, that it would be cute. And it says, have an amazing day. And I think it turned out really cute. It's a very simplistic card um, with the primary colors, I th but I think it came together nicely and it was fun to use the elements of the advent calendar to put it together. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. <laughs>